A few days ago, Valve updated their online conduct and their rules for Steam. And it seems like we're already receiving some bans for things which were included. TNK noticed two accounts worth roughly just under half a million dollars both received a ban. These are the accounts right here. They might just seem like regular ones. We have Knight, and then the other one is King. King's inventory was estimated to be worth around $185,000, while Knight's was estimated to be $250,000. And as you can see, some of the top tracked inventories that there is. Although we can't see their current inventory, we're kind of able to see what some of the past items are, and you'll see all these different knives, skins, really just liquids that people will put onto different gambling sites. I mean, nobody needs all these different knives as you can see right here, and it's not like they're extremely collectibles either. They're all kind of just basic ones, normal floats, normal patterns, which is what's taking up all the value inside of these guys' inventories. This is the other account, very similar things taking place. You'll notice not extreme high tier skins like Dragon Lores, or even very niche collectible skins like ones which maybe have Cato 14s on them, more so just basic skins. Before we continue, let's give a shout out to today's sponsor, Market.csgo. They're a popular peer-to-peer -peer skin marketplace with over 100,000 trades every single day. There's the option to sort by cheaper than on Steam. Listing your items on the marketplace is very simple and it has a very clean UI easily showing you how much you're going to be getting when the final sale takes place. For depositing and withdrawing your money, there's a bunch of different options you're able to choose from and once your skin sold, you're able to instantly withdraw the funds. They're currently running a 30 glove giveaway that anyone can join through their site. So check it out with the link in the description to start buying and selling skins. Now you might wonder how does this connect to the new terms of service because these might just be some normal accounts. And that is where when I was actually looking these up, you'll notice both accounts are pretty suspicious. The Knight account was created on October 14th, 2020. And the King account was one day earlier on the 13th of October. As we saw from their inventories, they look very similar. And not only that, now we know from the creation date that they're pretty much made on the exact same day. And well, now they are both community banned. That's where it brings up the question, what are they community banned for? We obviously don't know the exact answer, as it could actually be for a bunch of different things. When you look at Steam's official definition for community bans, they say they're issued to an account when it is used in a way that violates Steam's community guidelines. And well, when we check out Steam's community guidelines, the online conduct is included, but not only this, when you go into the commercial content part of it, you will see it now includes gambling. And well, these accounts are expected to be involved with a gambling site, specifically one with the name of Roll, as both accounts were hit with back-to-back -back community bans, and this seems to be the exact reason. It is important to note that these community bans can come from a bunch of different reasons. Some can literally just be commenting on someone's profile, others could be selling something on the market for an extremely high price, but for this, it seems like it's a different scenario and is a part of what was just included in the new conduct. If you're not an owner to one of these sites or don't own some of these bots which are holding skins, they're more so focusing on the commercial aspect of things, so if you're just a casual player with a few skins, you don't really have that much to worry about. 